Hi, I dropped Rachel off, my friend who was visiting for like a week, and now I'm back at my cottages. <sighs> my truck is stuck, so I'm gonna try to get it out, but I also need to cut down a bunch of trees that have fallen in the yard because there was a crazy winter storm. It snowed a bunch and broke a bunch of trees, so I'm gonna do that for a little bit, try to get my truck out, and then get home because it's cold. First, I really have to pee and the water is not on here. Oh my God, there's so much snow. So I'm gonna go try to use the outhouse. I don't even know if I'll be able to get the door open. I'm kinda excited, I love this outhouse. <laughs> I don't know who's new here, but if you haven't seen the outhouse, it's really cute. got an all glass window wall for looking outside. Yeah. I don't know. It's just the new landscaping, I guess. Oh, it's been a whole thing. Peter's completely dead. The jump pack won't work. I'm so out of breath. I've been shoveling this spot next to Peter, because I'm trying to get a jump. Peter was rocky and the, the plow guy came but didn't plow that spot. It's like negative four degrees out. I'm so cold. I still have like double that to go because my jumper cables don't reach her car. Rocky doesn't have any heat. Peter's the only car with heat. Peter won't turn on. He's just, I'm stressed out. I've been away from home for a long time. I'm worried my house is getting cold, which is not good. I'm taking a bubble bath tonight, guys. I tell ya, I'm so cold. Rachel's calling me. Rachel, I'm sorry, I can't right now. I have Rocky running because I don't want him to like, I don't want to turn him off and then he shuts off and then he won't turn back on because then I'll just be stranded here with no heat. <laughs> See if I can get Rocky into a spot. Rocky's battery is under the passenger side seat, not in the hood, so. Oh, Peter's making noise, so that's good. All right, he started. What a time. Sometimes you just need to know when to give up. I'm tired, I'm gonna drive Rocky home without heat, but I did remember that I bought a diesel heater last summer and I just never installed it. So I brought it with me, I'm gonna figure that out later.
long day, I tell ya. I haven't quite figured out how to keep this basement from freezing. So I got all of the fires going in the whole house. There was a fire in down here, so I'm gonna start using that, I guess. And then I'm putting heat tape on all these pipes right now. I think these are already starting to thaw. So once I get this heat tape on here, hopefully they'll spring through. Uh, I wanted to come home and take a hot bath so bad. I just spent so much time in the basement trying to isolate the problem with these pipes. I think I figured it out. I got the heat tape on it. Now I just gotta wait for the heat tape to work its magic. If I manage to put it on the right pipe. I'm gonna face you guys at the sink and hopefully catch if the water comes back on. Okay, <clears throat> my water is still only drizzling. I don't know why. It's been running all night. You'd think it would have paved its way out of the pipes. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go haul in so many logs right now because I want to just get all the fires in the place going. I really need to get the one downstairs like burning and burning and burning and burning so that the basement just heats up and hopefully all the pipes will unfreeze. I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but this is where we're at with snow. Well, there's a whole lot going on out there. Safe to say I will not be shoveling off my porch. <laughs> too much. I think I'm gonna make a bigger wood pile holder. Right now my only log holder is right here and I just run out of it so fast. I think I'm gonna make this whole wall a log holder. Okay, I don't have a sled yet and if I'm gonna haul this much wood I'm gonna drag it so I'm using my hammock straps as a rope. Oh my god, was the cutest thing ever. I don't know who watched the video but I told you I met my neighbors the other day when my power was out and they just stopped over with with little Christmas presents to welcome me to the neighborhood. Maple syrup that they make and a cheese board cutter that they also make. I also told them about Despero, so they, they wrapped up a little piece of cheese for Despero. That was so sweet. I have to think of something I can give to them. Oh, that was just the sweetest. I'm gonna cry. crazy how much of my life became about wood when I moved up here. I feel like it's all I ever do anymore is haul wood. <laughs> today's video. This coat is from ThreadUp. I think I got it for like 37 bucks and it was originally 75. For those of you who are new here, ThreadUp is an online thrift store where I do a lot of my clothing shopping. Okie doke. What did we get? First thing. Cute. Okay, so this is a J&J &J turtleneck. I got this for $20, it was originally like 51. I think I'd probably wear it with jeans. I'd probably put it together with this vest. I bought them with the intention of them going together. I, it shockingly, do not have that many flannels. I think it's pretty cute, very simple. Also works as a pajama shirt. And then the last thing that I got was this. It is not a winter coat. It's just like a really simple blazer. But 
but like long blazer. It's definitely very thin, so I will be wearing it in the spring with like a dress. If you liked any of these things, that it actually has this feature where if you click the link in my bio, it'll take you to a page that will show you the items I bought and then things that are similar to those. Then you can use my code Hannah Lee for 35% off of your purchase. Normally it's 30, but this time it's 35. So happy new year. Okay, smokes people, I have exciting news. fixed it. It took me a couple days because I didn't want to disrupt my plumber, but I do have his phone number, so I just texted him and um, he told me to check the, the, the water filter. I didn't think it could possibly have been that because we did just replace it, but I guess, I don't know, when the pipes froze and then they unfroze, I think like a lot of water and sediment pushed through really quick and clogged up the filter. So and I'm just making this up. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But, but somehow the water filter got clogged. The water filter is right here. And it was full, full, full of sediment. So I basically just unscrewed that. And then I put a new filter in and put it back in and then turned on the water and it just whoosh, went not so. So that's fun. It's exciting. It's good stuff. I'm very happy to have water again. Life is, life is better now. Don't take your water for granted, kids. So that's one thing off my to-do list, but now I'm so nervous. Okay, so I'm going to the city to go get a new little mousey. I'm leaving for the whole month of February and I've never been that gone for this long. And I'm really worried about my little mouse, Despero, because she doesn't have any playmates. And trust me, I, I've been thinking about getting a partner for her, or like a little friend, forever, but the cities is really far away. Found my car keys. I'm just worried that if I get another mouse, that they might fight, they might kill each other, they might hurt each other. I don't know. I'm just worried, but that's where I'm going. Wish me luck. pick up a mouse. Oh yeah, I didn't show you, but I was too disgruntled to film, but my sister's boyfriend helped me haul Peter out. So Peter is home. I was just so, so over trying to deal with that truck, but he works now, he's here, and no longer at the cabin, which is nice. Okay, I'm almost home, but I realized that I didn't show you guys our newest addition. This is Dixie. She was the runt of her litter, just like Despero. She seems super, super like timid and quiet and just sweet. I'm really hoping she's a good fit for Despero, but she was gonna be snake food and that makes me so sad and so happy that she's not gonna be. She's adorable. I'm gonna get her home now, but. Oh, are you eating food? What are you doing? Officially a double mouth household. I brought home a little one and she seems to be doing well. I introduced her and Despero uh, yesterday. They seem like they squabble just about as much as siblings do. Oh, you guys are being surprisingly sweet. Are you grooming her? Do you have a new friend? Despero, you haven't had a friend before. Oh my god. Do you love her? I'm Despero, I'm really happy to have a little friend. I think she doesn't quite get how to not be so cuddly or possessive. You're kind of crushing her. You got your fingers in her face. Despero. Despero, what are you doing? Despero. This is Dixie. I don't know if you can see her. 
She's a little little tan gal. She's a sweetheart. She was the runt of her litter. That's kind of why I picked her. I didn't want a mouse bigger than Despero in case. I don't know, Despero's just never been with other mice, so I wasn't sure. But I love that they're both little runs. She was gonna be sneak food. And now she's not. But yeah, I'm so happy to be able to have given her a little home. She's super docile. She doesn't, she's not like jumpy. She doesn't really climb on much. Like, she seems like the less dominant one for sure. But yeah, things are going well. Are you being a good girl? Being cozy with your sister? I've been really worried about Despero being alone all that time because they're social creatures and I've been worried about that for a long time like I've been her sole source of socializing this is kind of their neutral cage but I'm going to clean out the big cage so that they can both have more toys to play on and run around on right now it's definitely Despero's cage so I want to like neutralize the space rearrange everything so it shouldn't feel you know territorial <laughs> Despero, be nice. Despero. You gotta learn how to jump down, friend. You got this. Come on, you got it. Good girl. Oh, look at you, little Miss Climber. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. Oh my god, you are so crazy. Look at you, baby. You made it up. Oh my god, she's getting stronger by the second. She couldn't do this like 10 minutes ago. Whoa. <laughs>
it's New Year's and um, I just decided to spend it alone. I got invited to a couple different things and I, I don't know, New Year's has always felt like a time to be alone. You've been with people for the whole holiday season, families and frantic errand running and Christmas shopping and cookie baking and all the things and it's so fun and it's so lovely and then and then all that stuff is over and then it's new year's and i don't know it's always felt like it should be a time when you're just with yourself and you just use it to enjoy being alone and reflect and i've just never actually taken a new year's to be alone it's feeling really good so far it feels really good just been drinking wine and dancing around and making brownies and <laughs> i tried to dress up and then the only thing I felt cute in was like my pajama shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking a walk. It's almost midnight. I think I'm just gonna sit out here. It's so strange to be in the middle of nowhere. Like no one knows where I am or what I'm doing and the whole world is just moving. And I mean, that's true about any time ever, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna turn the camera off and just be with myself. Happy New Year's, guys. Use my code Hannah Lee for 35% off on threadup.com.